So we do that, and let's click Generate. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Henry, I'm a digital artist, and it's that time of the year again. We're jumping back into Art Breeder to create some strange, terrifying, and all probably not in a good way, Halloween art. Now it has been about a year since I last even touched Art Breeder, which is why I've noticed there's a few new features here, such as Mixer, Patterns, and the Out Painter. Uh, we're going to look at Mixer first and have a little go and see what this is all about, but I did notice earlier that a few of you guys have liked the crazy horrible images I've made last year, like why? These are terrifying. Why are you even giving this the time of day? Right, so Mixer is something we haven't tried out before on Art Breeder, so I think this is a great way to start. We will get to combine images plus a text prompt, so I think we should give this a go. Right, let's add an image, and you get to choose either your own image or something other people created, so community images I think is a good way to start. Let's have a look. Oh, someone's already beaten me to it. That's a good one for Halloween. Now we want something kind of scary. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the one. Let's combine it with something else. Let's look up another photo or image, whatever. Um, okay, yeah. Let's go to red theme. We got this. Got this sort of demonic lady and his red horse. And now I believe we can add a prompt by going. So you can either choose a prompt that's already been created, I believe, from their library, or you can create your own one. How about <laughs> demon lady? Riding force entering your nightmares. Okay, right. That's that's the prompt, and then I suppose we just copy generate. There's some sliders here. I assume it means how much of the things we want to retain from each image. So let's just let's give this a go. Okay, we got some interesting stuff here. The first one, okay, it isn't too bad. It's actually it does look kind of cool. The lady's gone. So she's disappeared, so she's left off. But we've got an, an epic image of this horse. You know, it's kind of stylish, kind of reminds me of the red hair from the Dynasty Warriors series, and that isn't that bad. But when it comes to the second one, now I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> so, I, I don't like this kind of thing. I don't, I'm not really keen on people combining people with animals and stuff. Yeah, it really depends what it is, but this is just not it. No. I suppose actually she could be wearing a mask. She's wearing a mask, that's all it is, but then suddenly the bottom half of her looks kind of like it's part of the horse all of a sudden. She's sort of sitting down, sort of not. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, but yeah. This is a very good example of how AI just doesn't understand hands, limbs, and what's really going on. Because a horse actually is done really well, because I suppose it can get this right, like most of the time, I suppose. But then when it comes to people, I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> Some kind of weird bleeding headdress kind of thing going on. Doesn't even get me started on that, and the legs just completely looks out of whack. Okay, that's one That's one example. Let's, let's play around with these sliders. We gave it more of the style of the first one, so it's a little bit less of the second one, but much more. Let's go full on with the prompt and click generate. <laughs> well, well, why are these two in a paddling pool? Let's go. Okay, and obviously the hands are not right once again. Uh, the horse isn't actually that bad, and she's looking terrifying, but that is the point. That is the point after all. Not, not a very good one. Now this one, okay, the lady itself just isn't that bad. <laughs> it kind of looks Kind of cool. Again, the the hand is just all slipped off, just became a sleeve. But everything else, I like the. It kind of reminds me of the the Daredevil Netflix series intro animation. Yeah, like the way it sort of like peels and kind of bleeds into everything, and they've got these two randos at the back. Okay, this one, it's got to be the best out of three, right? We've got the demonic lady, not looking too bad. The horse just looks terrifying. There's something, I just get this sense of unease looking at it. Something about the dark side of the eyes and the weird nose going on there. And the kind of the muscular, the facial shadows and the features there. And there's something very unnerving about this. Okay, good. Yep, stuff for nightmares. Okay, now let's park that to one side and jump back into Splicer, the one we always go to. And time to create a scary face. Now, a new image. See, these are just generic stuff it's created. This is just basically a photo of just someone they uploaded. What's going on there? Anyway, add a parent. Okay, no, <laughs> that's already terrifying enough, but I don't know, maybe we'll put that to one side. Let's have a look around first. What be- oh my god, that's like, it's not an SCP thing, but worse. I don't, I don't want to jump straight into something like that. I want a, a relatively normal base and then we can add crazy stuff to it and make it look scary. Let's have a look. Aha, I found it. Not that one, this one, this is it. And add a second one, then we're going to combine it. Combine this with... what should we combine it with? I, I'm hurt. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Okay, you know what, let's pick this one, this one, okay. Without turning any sliders first, we're going to see what happens. Generate. Oh my gosh, no, no! Okay, the first one, not too scary. I mean, not, well, oh no, I forgot when you click on it, it regenerates it. Anyway, that, that one's a ghost. <laughs> There you go. Job done. Time to walk away. Good. I'll see you guys next time. Right. Anyway, let's 
Let's muck about with the sliders. If we want less of the style of the first one, a bit more of the face of the second one. Turn it down too. Does it help in any way? Is it? Oh my, no, no. Who is it supposed to be? Oh my goodness. That's actually fine. But this one is just, uh, maybe too much of that one. And maybe more, more stylized of the last one. Let's do this one more time and see what happens. <laughs> it's kind of like Harley Quinn or something, some very really demented version. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I tapped these two, and then suddenly this happened. They all regenerated, and we've got this face. Let's do this one at a time. Eyes open. Oh, no. Why? Why is that suddenly is like shaking? So that's the culprit. We found out what happened. It was the eyes open, and then the whole thing shakes. Okay, let's bring that back. Just the mouth. Is that the... Oh, my. Why is it always sickening? It's always this purple colour. Okay, whatever. That's terrifying. You know what? I think we've mucked about with this enough. Let's go back. Let's undo everything and take a break. Okay, we took a break. We're back again. And we're going to do this properly this time. New image. Let's give this another go. Find a good pick. Okay, perfect. We found it. <laughs> this is the one. We need this. And what can we combine it with? Perfect. This. Now. Now, generate. Create. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. There we go, perfect. We've got this infected zombie, Resident Evil, terrifying mad person. This is going well. This is for Halloween, you see, it's meant to be scary. Let's go with, well, if they're zombies, you know, they wanna, you know what they wanna do. So we do that, and let's click generate. Oh my god, no. What happened to the hair all of a sudden? Oh no. This is. Okay, no, this is going very well. This is exactly what you wanted to do. This is what you went in here for. Okay, eyes open. Yep, there we go. Go into the minus. Minus 35 equals this crazy person again. Go back. Okay, so let's not touch that one. Mm. Do we want do we want to make them happy? I don't know. Is that a good idea? No, it's not a good idea. Go back. Go back. Jesus Christ. Okay, now to end it on a much lighter note, so we're going to play with a collage. And this is where we tend to create something a little bit more pleasant and less terrifying or just rubbish. Or it still could be rubbish. Let's not rule that out. Oh yeah, this is something I've tried playing up earlier. Okay, this is Ghostface in a in a street um, or an alleyway, whatever, at night. Um, let, let's give this a go. One I made earlier. Uh, wow. Okay, it's gone. It's given it a hockey mask kind of thing going on. But actually, to, to tell you what, it does seem to realise it is that kind of cloak thing going on. That you know what? That's that's all right. You know. I'll forgive it. You know, save. Can I save? Save, please. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Now, right, if we re-roll, we try with different seed. Ah, perfect. Now it knows. It knows. Don't know what happened to the hands, but it, it knows who it is. Right. Now let's let's create. Okay, we want a background first. Um, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Fractal noise. Why not? Uh, yeah. There we go. Let's just randomly create some stuff here, some stuff there. Now we're gonna do two things. We're going to Wow, my computer is about to take off. How are we going to do this? If we're going to draw, draw cute Pika as per usual, because who doesn't like Pikachu? Actually, some of you don't. I don't understand why. You freaks. But anyway, is this even... Ah, oh, there we go. Got a hang of it now. Yes, perfect. It should know. Now, the thing is, you can add images and you can search for them. And I'm sure there's Pikachu somewhere. Um, so you could do that if you wanted, but if you want to give it a go and see uh, if it recognizes it and is able to figure it out, then not such a bad idea. Oh my goodness, can we go back? Undo that, that was horrendous. Okay, yep, no, I mean, you know, that's not too bad. That will do, that will do the trick. You know what, that's fine. We don't need to go too overboard, and we want to do a little pumpkin. At least make it somewhat nicer. We really should move this up. There we go. I think that would do. Now, can we just adjust these guys upwards? Pop that there, just so it's in the image. Bring it back up. Oh, no, not the background. Leave that alone. No, not again. Oh, God's sake. That's right. Right, what to type? What's the prompt? Um, Pikachu. Pikachu's Halloween party. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Pikachu's Halloween party. And then let's just see how it goes. Click render. Ah, oh, perfect. See, this is exactly what I wanted. A nice way to end the video with Pikachu and his little Halloween party. It's got this Halloween vibes, you know, it's not too scary, but it's got that kind of, got that theme going on there. You know, we've got the, the, the kind of decorations a bit like what i got ha happening in the background. And more pumpkins, like the one that's glowing there. And Pikachu looking super happy about himself, although his tail's kind of merged with 
well, it's kind of appeared behind over there and became another pumpkin. But uh, yeah, looking looking fine. Nice, good, a good way to end the video. I think we're going to have to leave it there. It's been an interesting uh, Halloween special today. And one thing I would say that the collage, it, I personally think is quite a fun thing for like kids to play around with, especially when it comes down to just how easy it is to just put things together, just draw very rudimentary things and then click generate and to type in what you want it to be and it was a creator and it could be a fun thing that you print out and you know, whatever. I don't know. You know, I'm just thinking, looking at this, it's something I could have only dreamed of back when I was a kid in the 90s, you know, back when I thought paint was the most amazing thing ever and then compared to this like it's just so far apart and the things that you can do but again like again with a lot of my views with like AI I think if you use it in a way where you're uh, using it as a point of inspiration and generating ideas mood boards you know all that kind of stuff is is a very useful way to to streamline processes and to take advantage of the fact that it exists so there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video in some way or you like to support work, then you can always like, comment, subscribe and check out me on my socials. That would mean the world to me and have a great Halloween.